Bonjour, Frantic Ladies. Do you have a problem with decluttering your wardrobe? Do you tend to keep items for a long time, even though you know you won't wear them or you don't like them too much? In this video today, I will show you the items that I'm ready to part with. And I will also give you the reasons why I am doing so. So let me know for you which items are a little bit difficult for you to declutter. If you are enjoying this video, please give us a like and of course, please subscribe to this channel. So let's start. The first shoe I am going to get rid of is this pair of sandals and these are from Kala Shoes. Kala is a very good brand for women who have bunions. So if you have bunions, go and check out that brand. Kala Shoes, they are from the UK, they are very good. But these are a little bit too big for me. So I am going to sell it because they are brand new. Next is this pair of boots. They are still very good. I bought it five years ago, but now I've got another pair of, of boots that I wear much more than this one. I have not worn this one for a couple of winters, I think. So I am get, going to sell them probably. Next, a pair of black Stiletto. I have not worn these for about three years. I've, I have an, one other pair of black stilettos that I wear instead of these. So because I no longer wear them, I have not worn them for a while. Even then, I may still like them. I don't feel like, yes, I want to keep them. So they are going. Next, a pair of sandals that I bought from Aranza in, and when I was living in Mexico and I wore little sandals because of there, you wear them for uh, all year round and I was going out out in the evening much more than I am going out here and here it's not really the style so I am getting rid of them because I have not worn them since I arrived back in France so out they go again another pair of shoes they are very good they are made of leather again from oh these are from Flexi a brand that we have in Mexico you can see I mean the really high higher platform, very comfortable though. And I wore them when I was in living in Mexico again, but I have not worn them since I've been here. So I think I can safely say goodbye. Here is a pair of Chelsea boots. These are from Kala Shoes. Again, very good brand, very good quality leather, but again, a little bit too big for me. So they're going to go, they're brand new. So I'm going, definitely going to sell them. And lastly is a pair of brogues that I have bought from Clark's. They are very good. I have worn them so many, so many times. I bought them about five years ago. When I first arrived, you can see how much they have been worn. I am on the, you know, maybe. And I know I always advise, don't have a big maybe pile. And actually I don't have a maybe pile. Um, but maybe I won't keep them. I will ask my sister if she's interested in, in them, in wearing them. She wears a lot of flats and she's, her feet are the same size as mine. If she wants them, I give them to her. If um, she doesn't, I might um, give them away to charity. Next is a summer dress that I have had uh, when I was living in Mexico. Very simple dress, lovely actually, but too short for here. The weather's not that nice, backless. I have worn it only once since I've been here in France. So I will let it go. I was hoping for nice days, but because I work every day, you know, I think it's time to let it go. <laughs> Au revoir. Next is a lovely dress from Sumisura, but I've hardly worn it. I've worn it three times only. Last year, the summer one, made to measure, but this one was very nice. I have hardly worn it. I will sell it to give it away. This is a lovely skirt in wool that I have bought from Coast. It is absolutely lovely. Look at that. I love the fluted hem. Very feminine, very floaty. And we let it go. And I know that I'm not going to wear it anymore, but it's such in good condition, in very good quality. So I would sell this one. So this one has been folded up and it looks very creased. Um, so as it's clean, I will iron it very carefully before putting it on sale but it was such a lovely 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 jacket with a cold cheminée in wool absolutely gorgeous but i have not worn it for a couple of winters so i will sell it this one is a strap dress from bowden and i did not wear it for the past couple of summers 
and that is a really nice one. It's almost like a shapewear. It gives you such a beautiful silhouette. But I have not worn it and looking at it, I'm thinking, no. You know, that's something I, I find that sometimes you leave things in your wardrobe for ages. You know, you just ignore them and, you know, look after or wear the ones you usually do. But, you know, if you actually pick it up, have a good look at it, maybe even try it on and see what do you feel about it. Is that a wow or is it a mm? See how you feel straight away because I find you always know straight away. So your first reaction to it would be the right one. And you know, when I picked this one, I said, no, I don't think I'm going to wear it again. So this is time to say goodbye and <laughs> give them a second life. Let it go away so that somebody else can enjoy it. Another wool skirt I really loved. Where is this one from? This one is from Great Plains. A wool skirt, quite short, really nice one, good quality, with side pockets. No for me now, I don't like them as short as this. And I have not worn it for, you know, two or three years, two or three winters, so it's time to say goodbye. And again, it's like brand new. There is a skirt that I really loved, Marilyn Monroe style. And this one is from Uniqlo, and it's lined as well. It's got two side pockets, buttons at the front. When I wear it, invariably it is windy and um, makes me look like Marilyn Monroe. I have not been wearing it last summer, so I can say goodbye to this one. Again, it's like new. Now it's a dress, so sorry about the... it's not ironed. This is a beautiful dress. I absolutely loved it. From uh, LK Bennett, very good quality, fully lined. And I bought it for a wedding with it split at the bottom, really nice, <laughs> a little bit too tight around the waistline. So I will iron it and I will sell it. This is a pencil skirt from Marks and Spencers, kind of shiny material, perfect for parties in the winter and Christmas. And it was back split by split here. I remember last time I wore it, maybe once since I've been here back in France. So again, you know, I don't go out very often in the evening now, so it's time to let it go. <laughs> Next is a jacket here. That, that's very nice. And I have worn this one. I really liked it. But now I have bought a few more of these jackets from Zara. And I would put this one for sale on Vinted, I think. So here we go. Goodbye. This one was really nice. I, I worn it um, with t-shirts, with little tops, with silk tops, with shirts with sweaters, light sweaters, because it's a spring summer jacket. And I like the Chanel style jacket. I have many jackets now and I can't keep all of them. So this one is time to say goodbye. It's a jacket, one of my beloved Chanel style jacket that I think it's time to say goodbye to because I bought myself a brand new, absolutely beautiful Chanel style jacket from Luisa Spagnoli. And it is especially and it took my time to do that uh, because I was planning for ages to replace it. It had its time. This one's from Etam. It's not a fantastic quality, but it was not a cheap, cheap one either. But I have worn it so many times. I absolutely loved it. It's one of my beloved items. And as you know, the items that um, I love, I cherish them and I wear them a lot. And... I think it's time to say goodbye and thank you very much for making me look so good for so long. Another gorgeous jacket in wool as well with a detachable faux fur color. Absolutely lovely. And it comes with a with a with a tie black belt. So it was it was bought from Monsoon this one. Absolutely gorgeous, one of the jeans or black trousers. Red trousers, absolutely gorgeous. But I have not worn that one again for a little while, so I will let it go. Here is a wool blazer from Ines de la Fressange uh, for Uniqlo. Single breasted, two buttons here, pockets, and a back vent. But I've got uh, two other black blazers, so I will let this one go because I have not worn it. I think I've worn it once this winter. So there's no need for me to keep things I don't wear very often because because of my uh, what the work I do I um you know I get regular new new regular clothes so I don't want to keep something I'm not going to wear so it's time to let go thank you very much Ines de la Fressange <laughs> and let's make somebody else happy with it and <laughs> this little handbag 
I have been keeping it. I mean, this handbag is probably 18 years, 20 years old or something. And I have used it so many times when I used to go out, when I used to work in an office and we used to go out quite a lot in the evening and I have used it. But I have not used it here for ages. I have used it already for my videos, but not actually to go out. To be honest, I don't go out, you know, in the evening very much. So I think it's time for me to let it go. Let me know what you think about your decluttering. What things have you decluttered this year? Let me know for you which items are a little bit difficult for you to declutter. On screen now is a playlist of videos designed to help you create a French chic wardrobe. Au revoir.